The opacity property specifies how opaque an element is. It takes a value ranging from 0 to 1, where 0 is completely transparent and 1 is completely opaque. In this practical episode, we'll look at how the opacity property works, including some of its downsides, and then create a CSS-only fading slideshow using opacity and what we learned about keyframes in episode 11. I have a linked image here with opacity set to 1. This is the default and the image is completely opaque. Setting a value of 0 makes it completely transparent, but it does maintain its position in the document. Setting any value between 0 and 1 makes it semi-transparent. When setting opacity to anything other than 1, a new stacking context is created which places the semi-transparent element on a new layer. As such, the background on the element beneath is partially visible. I like to use this effect to give some visual feedback to users hovering over images that are links. Opacity is a property that can be animated, and by adding a transition to the image, the effect is a nice subtle fade. When applying opacity to an element that contains other content, the child elements also appear semi-transparent, regardless of any opacity value that's set on them. If I wanted to create a box with a semi-transparent background, opacity would make the box and all of its contents semi-transparent. The best thing to use in this case would be a background color set in RGBA or HSLA, which we looked at in episode 3. As opacity can be animated, let's have a look at how we can make a slideshow using a series of keyframes that just manipulates the opacity of a set of images. I've got a container with five images inside of it here. Each one has a unique class, which will be used to create five different animation timings. The slides are stacked on top of each other by setting position relative on the slide container and position absolute on the images inside of it. For the keyframes, we want each image to be visible for one-fifth of the time. For the first image, this can be achieved by having it fade in from opacity 0 to opacity 1 over the first 10% of the animation, and then remain opaque for another 10% before fading out to 0 again. To set up the keyframes for the other images, we could copy and paste the block of keyframes that we've already created, but a tidier way of doing it would be to use the animation delay property to offset when each animation starts by one fifth of the total duration. This is the time that the first slide will be visible before it starts to fade out. Duplicating the animation declaration for slides two to five and increasing the animation delay in 4 second increments, completes the effect. Not bad for a few lines of CSS, eh? 